now backstage with the awesome superstar, Sophia. Look at that jump. Wow. We are now. Hey. Yeah, that's me. The cuter, more innocent, Shifty. What you're watching is my first video I ever edited. It was 2011, and I was eight years old. With the all-stars, the underdog, and the um, um, overdog. I had no clue what YouTube was or that you could even post videos to the internet. I just made it because I wanted to. This is where my love for editing began. And after this video, I was hooked. From the ages of 8 to 17, I made it my sole goal in life to become a full-time editor. Busting my fucking ass until one day, I got my shot. And we just want to officially tell you that uh, you've been offered a full-time position here at Schultz Studios, if you'd like to accept it. Mm. And guys. <laughs> Since then, I got to edit in a critically acclaimed comedy special, edited things with hundreds of millions of views, and even got to leave the country for the first time. Ever since I was 18, I've made a video every birthday explaining what I've learned from another year of life. Today I turned 20. Here's what I've learned so far. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I'm one of the luckiest people alive. I was given the gift to edit videos. Imagine if I was born in like the 1400s. <laughs> up until about 50 years ago, editing was a skill that was fucking useless. And not only am I fortunate enough to be born in a time where I actually can use my gift, but I was lucky and blessed enough to have a person like Andrew actually believe in me, giving me a chance to make editing my full-time job. An opportunity that I'm sure millions of people would fucking kill for, I got before I could vote. And I understand and I realize how privileged I am to be in this situation. So I put a lot of pressure on myself. And rightly so, because this shit is fire and it's not gonna last forever. These last two years, I got super fucking lucky and I busted my ass to make that luck an opportunity. But I can't let off the gas now. I can't get comfy. Because this shit is not promised. And it's not going to last forever. So I just got to keep my head down, stay humble, and be willing to learn from my mistakes. The main thing I learned from being 19 was that I'm going to fuck up. I'm constantly, constantly going to keep making mistakes. And no matter how hard I try to be perfect, I'm always going to fall short. And I'm not just talking about editing, either. I'm talking about socially. Being around 30-year-olds and wealthy people daily, my maturity is tested. And I'm constantly reminded that I'm the young guy. And I mess up sometimes. But I've noticed that instead of beating myself up about it, because I used to really do that, I just got to take it with a grain of salt, learn from my mistakes, and move on. And the longer I'm here, and the more that keeps happening, the less it happens. So hopefully I'm doing something right. <laughs> Look, you can take this with a grain of salt if you want. I would if it was coming from somebody younger than me. The life that you want is going to come with sacrifices. And even with those sacrifices, you're still not going to get everything you want. You're going to lose people you love. You're going to let people you love down. And you're constantly, constantly going to fall short. But if you stay humble and keep your head down, eventually you'll get your shot. And hopefully, when you get your shot, those sacrifices that you make will make it worth it. I'm just thankful, man. Thank you, Schultze, for believing in me. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. It means a lot. We got a lot of new people, so thank you guys so much. And most importantly, thank you, Mom and Dad. You guys have watched every video I've ever made on this channel, so I'm sure you're watching this one too. So, hey guys, what's up? My whole life, you've always made sure that I've had everything that I've wanted and needed to follow my dreams, even if we didn't have a lot of money. And I've never forgotten that. And every day I wake up and I fucking know I have to bust my ass because one day I have to be able to repay that. So I love you guys. Two years ago, I went into a forest on my birthday and recorded a video saying I signed up for an editing competition and that I wasn't going to win. Of course, I'm not going to get the job at Schultz Studios. I don't expect you. You can listen to this if you want or not. It doesn't really affect me. But if you have something you really, really want to do and you believe in it, just do it. Look, I, I know it sounds cliche, and it is, but I'm living proof that if you put yourself out there, you just might get lucky.
Nah, you wildin' gang. Allow me to introduce myself, bitch. I'm Mr. Make It Happen. Shotty pull up on the scene, bitches hit the spot. He gon' make it active. Cody yelling, I was cracking. But you should know what I'm jacking. I'm double law, shorty EGB. We don't do the front, only count back ends. Count. number one in these streets. If you got beef, no lacking. He tried to lock up the front door. He ain't know that his homie was creeping the back end. Boy, drop a check and he slapping. My Udo gon' do it in fashion. Mama tell me put my pants, but it's on my waist, so a nigga shagging. Shorty said she fell in love first day we met. Told her that she must be tripping, shorty. I ain't even get to kill it yet. She kick a nigga a piece, get that bitch a perk and told her don't stress. Like, no, I ain't worried about shit that them niggas saying, cause a nigga blessed.